All right, I'm back. Uh, this is Reese again, uh, wanting to give you some tips on learning to interpret dreams. Now, what we've been posting uh, for a while is kind of simple dreams, really short dreams, just talking about different symbols, like a snake means this, a house means this, or babies mean this, a turtle means this. And so what I wanted to do is I, I saw a dream that really caught my heart. And it was a really complex dream. And uh, I wanted to go through that because I wanted to, to show you the difference between a really short dream and a complex dream. And just imagine you being at church or you being wherever and somebody comes up to you and gives you this dream. And what do you say? One of the things I heard John Paul do a lot, and I do it a lot too, is, is that we say, I'm not sure right now. Let me pray about it. Because you have to understand that these dreams that are complex, they take more time. They take more time praying meditating, contemplating, comparing, contrasting, why this and not that, to be able to release an interpretation to the, to the person. And then the other thing is you have to realize is that maybe God doesn't want that person to know what the dream means, so he hides it from John Paul or me or somebody who's, who's good at interpreting dreams. You have, to, you have to take that into consideration. That was hard for me at first because I was the dream guy at streams. And so when people came up to me and I had to turn them away, I felt kind of like, wait a minute, you're the dream guy. You should be interpreting that dream. They're going to look at you bad. And I had to release myself from that and realize is that maybe God's hiding that from me. So let's go into this dream. This dream is from a lady from Russia, St. Petersburg, Russia. It's a powerful dream. Here it is. I and my husband were in a car and we were driving. The car broke down and then I decided to go on foot alone. And in the dream, I, haven't, I didn't see my husband anymore. And on the road, I met this person, and he spoke English. I went with him, and he led me to other people. And they looked like they were Japanese, but they also spoke English. I realized that I was in another country, but I didn't have any stuff. So these people that I just made, met gave me the Bible, and the Bible was old and frayed, and the pages were underlined in places. And then I realized that the man who owned the Bible was no more. So the Bible doesn't need him anymore. Then, then they gave me an umbrella. The umbrella was not new. It was given to me from someone who left it for me in a certain place. I remember that the patterns of the umbrella, it was purple, pink flowers, and Japanese style. When I got those two things, me and a few other people got to the elevator and began to lift up. That's what I did. I was like, what? I was like, what does that dream mean? And so when the, I saw that dream, I was, it was really, it touched my heart. Let me just say that, that it touched my heart and I knew that I needed to interpret it, but I knew it was going to take me some work. It's not like, boom, I have the revelation. Here's what the dream means. I knew it was going to take me work. And see, you have to realize this in learning to interpret dreams for other people, that process of going through that, seeking the Lord, comparing contrasts, trains you and teaches you, right, to go after the Lord. And so after I was contemplating, it took me a couple of days. There would be days I'm just, you know, out there mowing the grass or I was doing the dishes and I would contrast. Why Japanese and not German? It's called comparing contrasting. And then you would get revelation as you're looking through the dream. And so this is what I said to her. I said, this is what I felt the dream was saying, that you and your husband were doing ministry at one time, but something happened and it brought an end to that, that broke down in your spiritual life, in your spiritual journey. But you decided, which the dream is saying, you decided to continue on in this journey of the things of the spirit, but your husband didn't, right? And the dream says that you were gonna meet somebody who spoke English, right? Not of your native tongue, but somebody who spoke English they were going to introduce you to other people. And the dream said that it was, they, were, they weren't Japanese, but they looked like Japanese. So what, is, what was God saying in that they looked like Japanese? To me, the symbolic meaning of Japanese, meaning that Japanese people are very humble and they have servant hearts. So God's saying in this journey, in your spiritual walk, as you move on into the things of the spirit, you're going to meet somebody who speaks English, they're going to introduce you to people who have a servant's heart, right? And who are very humble. They're also going to give you something. Now, the Bible, he said, gave me a Bible. It was worn. It was weathered, right? It had things underlined. So it means that these people that you're going to meet, that God's going to bring into your life, relationships, these people, 
They dug into the word. They went after the word. They underlined things. They were wearing out the word of God. So they were going to help you under some new things in the scripture that you don't have understanding of. They were going to present that understanding to you. And then you went on and then you had an umbrella, right? And it says you were given an umbrella and it had, it had purple and pink Japanese flowers on it. And so also in this time of, of meeting these new people, these new relationships that are going to help give you understanding of the things of the Spirit, they're also going to give you a way to protect yourself. And the way that you were protecting yourself was with purple represents authority, pink represents passion, right? But you still have the servanthood and humility, but it's protect, the protecting you is the authority and the passion. And then it says that you... And several of those people will go into an elevator and be taken up to the next level. So the dream was very powerful to me. As I looked at it and I, as I contemplated it, I thought, wow, that's the awe and wonder of God. I don't know how many people are on the planet, but we have six billion or whatever. But every night he's fashioning a dream specifically for that person, whether you're in a need for healing, whether you're in a need for a broken relationship, whether you need to be corrected, whether you need to be shown some things. Every night, God is fashioning dreams specifically for each one of us. And that's the awe and wonder of God. This is a lady who felt like I'm moving on in the things of the spirit that my husband doesn't want to. But I'm going on this journey, and, and I imagine she felt alone. I imagine that she felt, well, I would rather be with my husband in these things, but he's not with me. He doesn't want to do it. So God fashions a dream to her and gives her hope. Says, don't worry. I will take care of your husband, but I'm going to bring relationships in your life that's going to help you. You have to realize is that the dream is not between me and that person. So a lot of times I don't feel nothing. The dream is between the Lord and her. When the Holy Spirit gave her that dream, it's still just puzzles, pieces of puzzles in her heart. She may have just a little understanding, but she may not know. But when somebody releases the interpretation, all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit starts putting the pieces of the puzzle together, and all of a sudden, she sees the picture. And here's the best way to, under, to discover whether the interpretation was right, is the response of the dreamer. And so when I sent her the interpretation to the dream, she was so touched and she knew that that was the right interpretation to the dream and she was very thankful. That's when you know you got the dream right. The response of the dreamer. Everybody else could be saying, well, Japanese means this, Bible means that, but no. The response to the dreamer tells you whether you got the interpretation right. So I just wanted to show you that's a little bit more complex, a little bit harder dream. But my process for two days was working through it and praying through it, but it gave the right interpretation to the person and it honored the Lord.